Hello and welcome to another edition of Wildcat TV on Comcast 15 and AT&T Verse 99. I'm Weston Mooneyham. First up, DECA recently competed in the International Conference and placing very well. Here's Kennedy Swanson with the story. Recently, our Blue Springs High School DECA team traveled to Anaheim, California, where they competed in the ICDC competition, which stands for International Career Development Conference. I had the chance to talk with Ms. Fowler to see a little bit more about what DECA is, and this is what she had to say. DECA is an association of marketing students, so any student that takes a marketing class can be a part of DECA, and it's a really awesome experience to be involved in because it's great for career um, careers down the road, any career really, because you're learning how to um, have great interview skills, network with people, um, compete, and just um, just help the people become more professional down the road. I then asked her to explain the ICDC competition, and this is what she had to say. The competition we went to was called ICDC, it's International Career and Development Conference, and it's our internationals competition. So there's people from Canada, Guam, Germany, Mexico, and obviously the United States. There was over 16,000 students there this year, um, and it's a really big deal just to get to internationals. And we were able to take seven students this year, um, and they were a phenomenal group, so it was pretty awesome. Elena Aylward um, did a fashion forecasting video that she got their place in the nation for earlier on in the year it was then allowed to go to ICDC and was presented her plaque on stage for top three winners and then the other cool part was Kaylee Chapelo and Christian Spindler um, received top ten in the world um, for their travel and tourism marketing event um, they were a team and that consisted of a test and a role play, and then they made it to finals, so they did another role play. Um, we don't know if they got fourth or tenth, but uh, we do know they got top ten, and there were over 150 people in their category. Not only was our school's DECA team recognized for their success during the competition, but our entire Blue Springs chapter was recognized for their tremendous job fundraising. We were able to raise $10,700 for MDA this year. We were recognized as the, one of the top 10 chapters for fundraising efforts for MDA. And uh, we were fifth place uh, right behind some, uh, somebody that I think raised 11000 And so we were able to go to a luncheon and be presented um, a plaque. And we are also able to meet uh, Luke Christie and Abby and Molly, who are national ambassadors for MDA. So it was really cool to meet them. So be sure to congratulate everyone who participated in DECA and made this year a success. Thanks, Kennedy. Congratulations to everyone who competed. Do you know what you're doing with your life after high school? Here's Justina Corn with some students' plans for the future. Hi, I'm Justina Corn reporting for Wildcat TV. Now, it's come to that time of the year where all of us seniors are getting ready to graduate. Here's what the class of 2013 has planned and how they feel for graduation. I plan to move to Costa Rica to study abroad for a year and do language and Bible. I plan on going to the University of Arkansas and majoring in business. I'm straight up chilling. Um, my senior trip and the T-Swift concert. I'm going to go to NIU and major in nursing. You know, I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready to go. Uh, after graduation, I'm going to go down and play baseball at UCM. Um, after graduation, I'm going to UMKC to major in biology. Uh, next year, I will be attending Rockers to play baseball and study nursing. After graduation, I'm going to go to Blue River Community College for two years, and then after that, I'm probably going to finish out at UMKC or Warrensburg. Kind of nervous because I love this school and I'm going to be sad to go. After graduation, I'm going to go down to Jeff City to play football at Lincoln University. I haven't really thought about it. I plan on attending Emporia State University to major in elementary education. Um, it's kind of bittersweet because I'm going to miss the school, but at the same time, I'm ready to get out of here. Um, I'm going to further my career at McDonald's. After graduation, I think I'll go to Chuck E. Cheese. I plan on attending Missouri State University and majoring in biology and then going to medical school. I'm going to go to Cancun this summer and then attend UMKC for pre-med. Uh, I feel excited. It's going to be fun. Uh, i just nervous to leave all my friends and stuff, you know what I mean? I'm so nervous, but I'm ready to get out of here. Um, I'm excited, but it'll be sad leaving Blue Springs because yeah. it's a bittersweet feeling. Like. I'm just not ready, but at the same time I am. I'm really excited to be done with high school. <laughs> well, there's a lot to look forward to, seniors. So enjoy the rest of your year, and I'll see you at graduation. I'm Santa Corn, reporting for Wildcat TV. Thanks, Estina. Good luck to all you seniors in your future endeavors. Next up, we have a story about a student who's doing some pretty great things in our community. To fill you in, here's Kaylee Chapelo. Hi, I'm Kaylee Chapelo, reporting for Wildcat TV. 
For any students looking to volunteer or earn community service hours, we have an opportunity for you. We got the chance to talk to Talon Lang about a community service project he organized. For my Eagle Scout project, I've partnered with MoDOT and the Conservation Department to help clean up the roadside of I-70 at the corner of Adams Dairy for about a mile just to pick up trash and uh, spray Roundup so that the invasive plants there will be killed off and will later plant native grasses so it'll look better and you know help beautify the community. Anybody that needs uh, volunteer hours or service hours can come help out. It's free to anyone, 11 o'clock to 3 in the afternoon and free lunch will be provided. It sounds like a really great way to make a difference in our community. Students, don't miss out on this event. Signing off for Wildcat TV, I'm Kaylee Chapelow. Thanks, Kaylee. Coming up after the break, we'll have some updates for all you sports fans out there, and also this week's announcements. That much and more when Wildcat TV returns. Welcome back. There's been a lot going on at our school in regards to sports. Here's Raven Lawrence and Elijah Lee with a sporting update. Hey Wildcats, it's Raven Lawrence here with Elijah Lee to give you all a recap of what has happened and what is to come with spring sports. Our track and field have been getting work done with boys getting first at BSS Rusty Hodge Invitational, BSHS Gary Parker Invitational, and KU Relays, where they broke the distance manly relay record. The girls took second at BSS Invitational and both girls and boys went in conference last Tuesday. I got the chance to catch up with Coach Reeder, the girls track and field coach, and ask her a couple of things about track. Season's been going pretty well. Um, we made a good trip to Festus uh, in St. Louis. We also took a team to Springfield and KU. So one big thing we try to do is give girls a lot of different chances to run against teams all across the state to get ready for the state. Boys and girls swept the meet, one uh, for the second year in a row. Um, some exciting performers that we've got, Tyra Bickham, and uh, Carlos Davis both won the Outstanding Throwers Award for winning both events. Um, some seniors that we've got on the team, Bree Starr won the triple jump, Jasmine McCoy won the long jump in the 100. The baseball team has been doing pretty well in spite of the crazy weather this spring. I had a chance to catch up with Coach Hans and this is what he had to say about the season so far. The baseball team is 12 and 6 and are doing good so far this season. Well, we've won some big games here of late and then we beat Blue Spring South 7-6 to six of the walk-off home run by Kyle Reed, which, uh, you know, those are two big wins for us since uh, South was tied for us with, in the conference race. And we also had uh, Corbin Hare hit a walk-off Grand Slam last uh, Wednesday against Lee Summit North, which was a big win for us. So uh, we've done a great job so far. We're looking forward to finishing up the conference season Monday against Liberty at home and then going to Ray Peck on Tuesday if we win both those games. We'll wrap up a conference championship so we kind of hold our destiny on our own hands and then look forward to having some momentum going into the district tournament which starts uh, the following Saturday. The tennis district tournament starts today so be sure to go out and encourage them and keep supporting our spring sports as they finish up the rest of the season. This is Elijah Lee along with Raven Lawrence reporting for Wildcat TV. Thanks guys. Good luck to all you sports teams with the rest of your season. Next, here's this week's announcements. Any girl interested in trying out for tennis next year should attend a short meeting in the small gym at 2.20 on Thursday, May 9th. Any questions, contact Coach McAtee. The final A-plus tutor training this year is Tuesday, May 7th after school in the library. Summer school applications are still being accepted. If you plan to attend summer school, come by counseling and get your application today. If you have previously failed a core class or are currently failing, summer school is a great way to make this credit up. There are also a few classes that can be taken for enrichment, meaning you can get a credit you need for graduation out of the way in the summer. Design fundamentals, communication, personal finance, and computer applications are offered for enrichment. Summer school starts June 3rd and ends on June 27th. 
see the counseling office for applications. All DACA members are invited to our end of the year banquet held on Thursday, May 16th, starting at 6.30 p.m. in the cafeteria. All are welcome to bring up to two guests. Please make sure and turn in your RSVP form to Mrs. Fowler by Wednesday, May 8th, so that we can have an accurate count of people coming. Mr. Wildcat DVDs are now available. The cost is $10. Stop by Mr. Marble's room, 408, to get your copy today. Better get there before they run out. Youth Corps will be meeting Monday, May 13th from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. for dinner. Saturday, May 18th from 7.30 to 11.30 a.m. at Rotary Lake. Thursday, May 23rd for officer elections. And June 30th through July 4th for fireworks tent. This school year is winding down, so make sure to finish strong in all of your classes. Only 12 days remaining for seniors and 19 remaining for the rest. Remember to check out the school's Twitter page at BSHS Wildcats for updates about the end of the school year. Thanks for watching this edition of Wildcat TV on Comcast 15 and AT&T U-verse 99. And you can always view past episodes of Wildcat TV on wildcattvnews.com. Have a great week, and remember, it's a great day to be a Wildcat.